Denise here with the Crafty DIYer. I have six projects for you today. The first one is these plastic mirrors. And we're gonna make them look textured. So I use salt wash in my paint. It's a powder that you add, you mix it up, and you can create texture. You can go as thin or as thick as you'd like. After I did that, I painted the mirror in white swan. Now I didn't get it recorded. I don't know what happened. I probably got away from myself and just started painting. But um, yeah, I painted it. I didn't want a mirror. I just wanted something to put on the wall. I'm using the brocant transfer today and I'm just gonna cut these labels out apply them to the surface. Now, because I did paint these and we are putting a transfer on, I did seal it first with Big Top. Now, all of the products that I'm using here today will be listed below this video. And look how pretty they are. We took a $2.50 mirror and made these beautiful. I painted this teapot in the same mixture and I wanted to add these cute little birds. This is called Bird Song. And I'm gonna glue these on. Now, when you are gonna be gluing the glue matters, let me just say glue matters. I'm using construction adhesive because when I put this on, it's a vertical surface and I don't want it sliding off. So that's the best thing to use. If I was gluing this to a wood surface, I could get away with wood glue. Once it was dry, I put some white wax on this. Now, everything in this video, except one project, got the same paint mixture and the white wax method. I'm going to add a shabby flower. And all I did was just bunch up the material, which is bed sheets. Really, when you go to your thrift store, look in the bed sheets. Just take them home, give them a good hot shower, good hot wash, Javix, all the things. But they, I, I love getting these vintage bed sheets. I'm going to add a little bit of bling to the middle and then we're going to just hot glue this right to the teapot. And you'll notice here, I did add some gold wax to the birds and the teapot lid, the spout, and the handle. Next project is this scoop. And again, see this is metal, but with the salt wash mixed with this paint, it really will adhere to anything. Now, I wanted to smooth it out a little bit so I just took my sandpaper and smoothed it out. I also sealed it with Big Top because we're going to put a transfer on this. Using the lavender that I got from the Painterly Floral Transfer, and I'm just gonna cut out, when you're gonna do a curved surface, you wanna really cut in as far as you can this is just gonna help adhere in it a little better, but do know that it, it could crack because you are on a curved surface, but that's okay. I like things a little vintage anyways. And to finish the scoop, I'm just gonna make this shabby chic bow using scraps and ripped up material and lace. And I'm gonna tie it in the middle and then we're just going to hot glue it. Now what I like to do is put it on my surface and then trim it after. We still have a few projects to go, but I invite you to watch all the way to the end because I'm gonna show you different ways to style all of these things that we're making today. So I've got this, it's a metal, it looks like a rose gold, I'm not sure what it is, um, but I grabbed it because it's pretty. And all I'm doing is going to glue it onto this metal candle holder that I painted. I'm using construction adhesive because it's nice and strong. Let it sit for a couple of hours, put something heavy on top, and it will be done. 
I put some lavender in this and wherever this is gonna be in your home, it's going to smell so good and look so pretty. Now, if you take a look at this apothecary jar, we're going to do that one next. Now, I have to say, I don't know what happened, but I have no footage of me painting it. But as you can see here, I just painted the top and then the bottom rim. I'm going to fill it up with bath salts and it has lavender in it, so it smells so good. So you can see we have a theme going here. The tray is also from the thrift store and I think it pairs so pretty with all of the bath salts and the lavender. This one we painted in white swan and I am going to use the rose toile stamp with the black ink and I'm going to stamp that on and I'm also going to edge it out. That's what I call it. Basically, I take my ink pad and I kind of turn it on a 45 degree angle and just edge it out and it just adds a nice border to this. I'm going to seal this. You could seal it with Big Top, Liquid Patina or even wax. Let me know in the comments below which one of these was your favorite. I hope this has inspired you to make your space beautiful. If you haven't already subscribed, I invite you to subscribe. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday.